Now, you and the crew are scheduled to return on May 1st. Um, how long will the, uh, the trip be from the space station um, back to Earth? And, and when you think about both traveling from Earth to the space station and then the return trip home, um, which to you is, is more challenging? And, uh, you know, as you enter the Earth's atmosphere and, and uh, you know, you're passing through some incredibly hot temperatures, is it, is it difficult? Are you, are you concerned about landing in the ocean and, and, and making it back? Uh, you're certainly concerned. I mean, the the uh, the launch and the landing are are probably the highest risk uh, times for an astronaut. Um, spacewalks as well are probably the the riskier uh, things that we do. Um, in terms of the amount of time for the the SpaceX Crew Dragon vehicle, we were about 24 hours from the time we launched until we actually docked to the space station. And when we go home, it could be that long as well from the time we undock till we actually splash down off the coast of Florida. Or depending on the orbital mechanics, we could actually be home within uh, seven hours or so where we're splashing down. Wow. Uh, both uh, coming up, going uphill and coming downhill are, are pretty exciting. Um, the... <laughs> The rocket uh, riding on that Falcon 9 going uphill, uh, that was that was impressive. It mm -hmm. was, uh, you definitely knew you were going somewhere and you were going somewhere fast. Uh, we <laughs> all had big smiles on our face, feeling that acceleration. Uh, but coming home, uh, obviously there's some very critical times there. And so when we first enter the atmosphere, you're basically free falling from when you enter that atmosphere at uh, 60, uh, 60 miles. And then our drogues, uh, our first parachutes don't, don't come out until about five, uh, five point seven, six miles or so, wow. and then the main parachute doesn't come out until two, uh, two miles above the Earth, and so you're just free falling for a for a very long time, and then uh, that shock when those chutes open, that's uh, that's pretty dynamic, and <laughs> so and and the, the last thing I'd say about the entry, what's what's interesting about that as well, and. And it's really hard on the families because as we're coming into the atmosphere, we've got all of this plasma, that, that superheated plasma that's going around the vehicle, and um, that interferes with our comm system. Hmm. And so for your family that's sitting on the ground, there's, they're not hearing any calls. And oftentimes what happens when you're supposed to come out, the ground teams will start making calls, what we call in the blind. And so they'll just they'll call SpaceX or uh, Dragon, this is uh, SpaceX, how copy? And we may not answer. And so that's very, it's uh, because we, right. we haven't got our comm back. Right. And so that can be very challenging, very uh, uh, difficult for the families because you just don't know. Mm -hmm. And when you come out of that, that's about the time that the chutes are opening and all of that. Uh, so it, it can be very uh, nerve wracking, you know, for us as the astronauts on board. Right. You've got a job to do. You're monitoring uh, data. You're monitoring the systems. Uh, but for the families that are just sitting there and, and waiting to, to hear confirmation, that can be pretty challenging.